Hello all, welcome to AuraTrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about Excel report overview and the steps involved in designing the Excel template in Oracle Fusion ERP. We'll cover up what is Excel template in Oracle BI, the limitations, what is the software required to design Excel template, and what is the mapping between a template and data, and what are the detailed steps required to design an Excel template report. So Excel template, in Oracle BI, it's a layout which we define using Excel, Microsoft Excel. And using this particular XML template, we can generate output data in .xls, XML, as well as CSV format. It does not support any other format. It supports only three for output formats. One is .xls, XML, as well as CSV. And some of the Oracle Excel, XML, like, uh, Excel template features are, we can define the format for the data in Excel output. And you can split your particular hierarchical data across multiple sheets. And like uh, you can have a master and child kind of ship, uh, relationship. And also, if you want to design some advanced XML template, you uh, like Excel template, you require XSL function. And it supports the default, the native Microsoft Excel functionality also. Of course, there are some limitations. Like um, if you have images and if you're, it is getting split into multiple sheets, it can display the images only in first sheet. And if you want to have a designing the, what do you call, the complex functionalities, you have require XSL as XSLT specification. And it, it's a, and it has a limitation of maximum number of active cells like in 100,000. And also the number of fields it supports is 990. And when you're using a conditional formatting, it does not support coloring stuff. It supports conditional, but it does not support coloring, okay? And the next thing is, what are the software required for this one? So the only software required is like a, BI Publisher Desktop Edition, okay? And based on your operating system version, you have to get either 32-bit or 64-bit. And the template builder, you know, like when you when you download Oracle BI Publisher Desktop Tools, it downloads the plugin for MS Word as well as Excel by default, okay? And how do we get it? So once you log into Oracle Fusion ERP Analytics or slash, I mean, slash XMLP server, and then you just click on this particular question mark help and you select download analytical Oracle Analytics Publisher tools, and then get Oracle Analytics Publisher Desktop 64-bit Office. And once you'll be navigated to Oracle website, click on download section, and then you'll be asked to select which version you want to download. You select the appropriate version. And once you get the download, once you, and then if you inst once after installation, you should be able to see a plugin in your Oracle Excel and, and like Microsoft Excel. And once you click on abort, you should be able to see the appropriate version or you know like uh, the directory and all the information in your Microsoft Excel. Okay, this is a prerequisite software to design micro like uh, Oracle Excel template in BI. Okay, and now, so when we design the Excel templates, right? There is one particular hidden sheet which will get created XD1 underscore metadata. We may have clarity once we really design the Excel template. Like uh, once we really design the Excel template, and then we can get back to what is this mapping is all about. Okay, so let us get into the steps. So these are the, some of the like uh, detailed steps which are required to design Excel template. The first thing is when you do want to design the template, you require a sample data based on which you can design your template. So how do we get the data? Like uh, you can design the data on your own, and the, but the best thing is based on your query, you get you go to your Oracle like a uh, Oracle data model and get the sample data and then they design the template. So to design the sample data, the best thing is you just get your query ready. So as of now, this is my query. The, I want to fetch customer details for the specified customers. So I'll just, I'll navigate to XMLP server and in the catalog section, I'll just click on new data model. And here in the data sets, on plus symbol, SQL query, and you can just mention query. And in the data source, select application db underscore facm and paste the customer query. Click on OK. And better save it. Save your particular data model in your appropriate query. I'm saving it in a folder called Aura Trainings, but if at all in your requirement, based on the your requirement, you can save it in appropriate folder. So I'll say customer details dm. on data, view, and we'll be able to see the data. Let's say I'll extract 10 rows, click on view. 
click on export this will generate the xml file so this is the xml file which we require to design the excel template okay so i'll paste here and now here if you observe we have like a party number party type party name all the basic details of customer we have it and the next step is go to the xml publisher go to excel microsoft excel okay i'll click on blank workbook okay and what i'll do is i'll select the folder where i want to save it so first of all I'll just save it control s save it select the folder where i want to save it customer details excel tmpl and make sure the extension is xls xls 97-2003 workbook click on save now click on bi publisher click on sample xml select the xml which we got just now from the oracle fusion erp click on open the data got loaded and now just click on field and here if you observe right when you click on field it says that it will create a metadata as of now i'll just click on cancel okay now can you see it shows all the field which are available in our data model it shows all the field which are available in the data model so before creating the like a, creating the fields first of all create the columns create the columns which you want to show so the first column is like i want to show the party number and then the i want to show the party name party type status account number i'm just copying the column names okay just set it properly these are just a columns right now it's not a value now the next thing what you do is here first of all you can also click on field browser as of now it no, it's not showing anything okay then click on field click on field and what it is telling metadata sheet get, will get created but what is this metadata sheet we'll observe that as of now just click on okay and now it shows the list of fields which are available the top level hierarchy is that data underscore ds under the under under that we have a group called g underscore one under the party number column column a what we want to do we want to insert a party number just select this one and click on insert and now what is happening is this particular value got it is showing the value but if you just click on the cell it shows a field called xgo underscore xgo field one okay now go to party name and similarly just insert party name and similarly for party type just insert party type and status insert and account number insert that's it and if you want to insert the remaining fields also you can simply insert like i'll just say insert site number site use code and account site use number also close it so i was able to insert all the fields in a very easier manner right so i'll just try to mention the column name for them also site number site use code as well as account site number set it properly okay now final thing is select all the columns select all the columns and now click on repeating group so generally the header will not get repeated right what we want to repeat is the records based on your grouping so click on repeating group and it is telling what is your group name just select the appropriate group nothing to change at this level as of now simply click on okay and now as of now you can click on save it now what is the metadata which we are talking about so on the sheet one right click here and click on unhide so when we create like whenever a metadata sheet will get created right so when you click on field automatically a metadata sheet will get created and just let us see that the metadata metadata sheet name is xd underscore metadata just click on okay it has all the information which we have considered while inserting the fields okay so all the fields the eight fields as well as the group name now click on sheet one and now let us preview the output click on excel and we should be able to see the output now got it perfect and now if you want to change the colors headers bold italic everything you can do it for now we will not concentrate on that part what we can do is let's go to the fusion 
So I'll just try to register the report now. As of now, we have just registered the data model and now we have to upload the template to finish our sample. So click on new report. I just click on this dialog to close it. Now select the data model. Select the, yeah, select this one. Select the data model which you want to consider. And save it. Customer details, Excel, repo. Rep. And now we have to upload the template. Click on upload. And I'll say layout name, output, or you can mention the appropriate name also. And this is our template, customer detail, Excel, TMPL, XLS. Template type is Excel, local is English. Upload. And now you can just click on view as list. And you can see the output format it supports. You can select all the supported formats or you can select which format you want to you want to have it. And let us go with the default template output format as XLS. Save it and click on view report. And open it. Perfect. So this is our output. Okay, so this is how we can design a simple Excel report in Oracle Fusion. Thank you.